Question number 47. The table below shows train fares from town N to M to town N. Uh, so we have the train fares, uh, first class, second class, adults and, above, and children above 11 years, first class they were paying 3,000, second class were paying to 700, children between 3 and 11 years, first class were paying 1,800, Second class they were paying 400, children under three years were traveling free. So a certain school arranged for a trip by train from town N to town M. 28 pupils aged 12 years, 15 pupils aged uh, between 7 and 10 years, uh, 4 teachers and the head teacher. The passengers occupied the following classes in the train. First class, head teacher and one teacher. Second class, three teachers and all the pupils. How much money did they pay for the trip all together? So we start with the first class. So we have the head teacher and one teacher. Uh, so there were two first class. So they paid uh, at, uh, this is at 3,000. So this means that they paid a total of 6,000 for two. Three teachers occupied the second class uh, and all the people. So let's start with the three teachers. Uh, at uh, second class, we are paying 700. So this, if you multiply by three, you get 2,100. We can add that and get that is 0, 0, 1, and 8. Uh, then all the pupils uh, occupied the second class, but they were of different ages. So we have 15, okay, 28 pupils aged 12 so and you can see here adults and children above uh, 11 years so this means that uh, we need to multiply 28 uh, they paid 700 in the second class so that is zero zero uh, eight times seven is 56 you carry five uh, this is 14 14 plus five so you get 19,600 so you say it is 19,600, which we can add and get zero, zero. This is seven. Okay, this is seven, carry one, we have two. So we have get 27,700. Then uh, 15, uh, those are, so 15 people's age between seven and 10. So those they paid 400 because they were in between uh, three years and 11 years. So we multiply, uh, those are they, they were 15 so you say this is uh, so this we can say this is 28 uh, student uh, at 700 that is what they pay so the other ones are 15 student uh, each paid uh, 400 so we multiply 15 multiply by 400 and that should give us 0 0 uh, that is 20 carry 2 uh, that is 6,000. So we add 6,000 uh, here and uh, when you total that you get 0, 0. This is 7. Uh, 7 plus 6 that is 13. Carry 1 we get that 3,700 and checking the answer for that you find that it is the correct answer is A. So that is the answer that you should and that is how you work out that question.